All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on what to look for when surf fishing here on the Oregon coast. Now, remember, I am no expert on this. This is from my experience, okay? And this is what I taught myself, and it works pretty well for me. So remember that um, every beach is different, and uh, beach contour change all the time due to, you know, the uh, weather. Um, when a storm comes in, it changes the beach contour a little bit, and over time, that's going to change drastically. So um, even though you see a beach feature that you like, you, you may come back later, you know, months later, and it's not there no more because, um, you know, Mother Nature is always evolving. There's always storms coming in, all right? So you see here, um, right here, there's a dark spot. It's, it's like a little bay right here, okay? The dark spot is a little trough. Um, it's about 200, maybe 300 feet. Um, there's a bar out there, as you can see the wave crashing, okay? There's a bar that runs from, it looks like, from about there to pretty far, actually. It runs all the way in front of this beach. And this black spot, this dark water, that's a trough. And right now, if you were to fish that trough, you're probably not going to catch anything because that trough is far too close to the shore. Okay? Um, so the best, the best time to fish that trough is during a high tide. Because the tide, when it's high tide, um, it'll, it'll cover this, this sandy bar right here. And the fish is going to congregate in that trough. So right now, it's not very good because it's, it's low tide and the tide's going out, so they're not going to be in there. But during high tide, all the food particles going to wash up in there, so that's where the fish is going to be. So that's where you want to target, okay? Usually you can tell if there's um, not, if, if the waves are not crashing, and if there's kind of dark water, that means it's deep water, that's a trough. So that's what you want to focus on during high tide, but not right now. Um, another area you want to focus on are the uh, like the riptide or not yeah the riptide the rip current um, but I don't see many here right now it's kind of pretty flat beach so it's kind of hard to tell um, but rip currents are uh, another good area to cast your lure in because that's where they congregate to feed um, usually the uh, rip current, you can tell by there's going to be a lot of bubbles. So I don't see any right now. But right now it is low tide. Um, definitely not a good time to fish right now. So that's what I look for when, I, when it's high tide. It's that trough right there. And I'm, I'm here during low tide and I'll just remember it when it's high tide. I'll just come back in and I remember that trough and that's where I'm gonna cast. There's another one right over here. As you can see, the wave is crashing over that bar out there, and there's a little dark water right here. That's another trough. Um, and I see one way over there. That, that one's a pretty obvious one. It's, it's, it's a little bay. See the, the waves crashing out there? And behind those waves is a little dark water. It's a little, it it kind of curves in so that's a that's a nice trough to try out during high tide so you definitely want to focus on the trough um, in the darker waters the darker green okay all right guys I hope this helps a little bit um, again focusing on beach feature is the uh, is the key to uh, getting the surf perch especially troughs and rips and um, the best way to find those is come out during high, sorry, come out during low tide so that way you can see the feature and, um, and then when it's high tide, come back and fish that trough. All right? Thanks for watching.